guys welcome to my channel or welcome back and welcome to another art project so this was my final art project from fall 2022 um the prompt was something influenced by an artist i forgot who the artist was but yeah that's pretty much it so let's get into it So yeah, this started out great. As you can see, I've already got some colors and things on there. I did start the painting like a week earlier in class. Um, just did the sketch and some basic colors just so it looked like I was doing stuff. But my issue was after that class, I put my water cup thing down, like my good one that's like foldable. I put it down next to the sink because somebody was using the sink and then because I have memory issues, I forgot it there and somebody took it. So I lost my good little water cup and I'm so upset, but you know what? It's fine. I just used empty yogurt containers that are kept by the sink. So the work is uh, influenced by an artist, but I also wanted to go back to the collage style that I used for my drawing in my last class. That would have been the last art project video that I uploaded. Um, I really liked the idea of taking different landscapes and photos and combining them, but the artist style that I was using as my influence had this very blocky, sort of bright colored technique. So I tried recreating that and I had so many issues. I'm not even joking. I think every part of this landscape, every color is like a different blocking technique. So the brown, which is what I did first, and that's like a lodge style like window or something like that. Um, I tried to do like a nice blended kind of resembling wood. I'm not totally sure how that turned out. Apparently a lot of people liked it, but at the same time, the lighting made it look incredibly black. Um, but I did that. I think it turned out pretty good. I tried to keep it as blocky and like not blended as possible, but still making it look like it was blended, um, which was a new technique for me. So it was very much a learning process. I tried recreating that same technique on the like orangey part, which was supposed to be rocks. Don't ask why I did orange for rocks. I honestly do not know. Um, then I headed out for the day, and this is a new day, getting started again. I got all my color blocks for the mountains and whatever else, and I'm going into the yellow. I did something weird to the yellow. Instead of doing the blockiness that I did for the orange and the brown part, I actually tried to blend the yellow. I'm not sure what effect I was going for, but I blended it all together instead of just doing blocks. Um, I think it looked pretty good. The only issue was when I tried recreating that with the green part, 
it did not go very well, like at all. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, I went over the orange part just with a nice flat orange to get rid of the weird blockiness that I attempted to do. And I'm gonna go through and try and do the blendiness, whatever, that I tried with the yellow. And it just, I don't even know what I did. The final product looked pretty good. It's just that weird trying to figure it out, like on the spot, that just, it was a process. <laughs> Um, I set up my desk and it looks so pretty and aesthetic that I just, I needed to show it. I also got my nails done because it was like Christmas time and my mom took me to get my nails done so I had gloves and I found out I'm allergic to golden paint. The paint that I've been using, I'm allergic to it. So I was wearing gloves for this entire project. I should probably be wearing gloves for all of my paintings from now on, but honestly, I just, I don't care anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm attempting to do the orange again. The yellow is weird and blended and kind of greenish. It was very much a back and forth trying to figure out what to do and how to do it. So this is, I think, attempt number two at doing the green. I decided to go in it, go in with a little bit darker, and I'm pretty sure I just decided to do each like piece of the green one solid color instead of trying to play with like different uh, blocks and stuff. The issue with that was I did way too dark considering it was supposed to be a landscape like looking into the distance so the back of it should have been lighter and the forward part should have been darker instead I kind of did a twist on that so yeah this was attempt number two at doing the green I think this entire painting probably took me about 40 hours and the majority of that was just trying to figure out the green and the blue section But one thing I love about this painting is when I was in the studio, like right now during this part, I was by myself and I just blasted my music. And I think that's the first time all semester and probably in like a year that I was actually enjoying painting, which is really sad considering I'm literally an art student and painting is a part of my curriculum. Um, but. This was the first time in so long that I actually enjoyed what I was doing. I think right now I'm trying to do the weird blended look that I tried to do for the yellow. <laughs> oh my god. It looks so bad, but it was also just like the most fun I've had painting in so long. And I think this is gonna be like one of my top favorite paintings purely because of how much fun and the fact that I've kind of like refound my love of painting with this. As cheesy as that sounds, it is very much true. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, another day, a new day. I'm not even sure how this is going. I have to go over the blue again because I made it way too thin for the river. Um, and then there's also some spaces where I wanted the blue to be much lighter. Um, but I am going in and I'm gonna start like blocking out the blue soon. And attempt number three at doing the mountains, I'm going through and I'm whitening out the spaces that are supposed to be much, much lighter.
Oh my god, doing the sky and the water was such a tedious little thing. I got into the studio at like 8 a.m. or something like that, and I was there until like 6 p.m., probably a little bit later. And the majority of that time was literally just doing the little tiny blocks of color in the blue spaces. It was such a tedious little thing, but I think it turned out looking so nice afterwards.
here is a close up. As you can see, I still have a bunch of white areas and like these areas need to blend in more. And then I'll have to go in with uh, some lighter colors as well. And then for the mountain, I still have all these areas where this was like the base color and I still need to go over it again. Up here too, that super like neon blue that's literally just from the bottle and it's just a base color. Still need to do this space. Some of this is pretty much done. Like this area is pretty well done, but I still have like over here that needs to be done and here that needs to be done. And then all over here still needs to be done. Um, I need to go over the water again because I don't like how this looks. This area is pretty well done, but then I still have the white areas where it's supposed to be a light green, but I accidentally did like a bluish green color. I still have all of the water up here. The, the brown part is done, the yellow part is done. I still have to go through the sky up here because there's still white space. And then I still have to finish mixing in here because a lot of like that color is just the background color that I did. So I still need to go through and get in the grays and a couple of lighter colors in there. And then that's literally just patchy white that I did. So all of this still needs to be done, but the yellow areas are all done. Okay, I'm finally gonna do and then I just have the water and the sky. Yeah, this is another new day. I was in the studio actually with my friends, so you'll see me turn around a lot to talk to them. But I'm so happy to finally be done. And I hope you enjoyed another process video of an art project. I have a couple more of these coming up. Um, I have a few that I'm going to be making because of course I still have art classes and I'm hoping to do some personal paintings soon. And so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.